as you know, work on a project is broken up into tasks. Each task are the building blocks of a project schedule. In project management, a task is an activity that needs to be accomplished within a defined period of time. In this lesson, we will see how you can start using project to create your own tasks. A blank project file can be daunting, especially if you are new to project management. But with a few clicks, you can tap the power of Project 2013 to convert your to-do list into a full-fledged project for you to manage and share with your team and stakeholders. So here on the screen, I have created a blank project file. And in this lesson, we will see how tasks are created. I have already saved this file. And this will be available for you to download in the files section of this course. The first thing I am going to do is set up the project information and working times. To do that, I click on the project tab and project information. A dialog box opens up. I want to change the start date to an upcoming date. So I change that. The schedule from box is correctly set to project start date, so I will leave it as it is for now. I will retain the project calendar to standard, no changes there for now. So I click OK and I am ready to add a few simple tasks. When we return to the Gantt chart view, we have to make one more change. In the status bar at the bottom left, you can see a pin icon that says new tasks manually scheduled. We will want to change that to automatically scheduled. This will be explained in the upcoming lessons, so let us just do this for now. Now, I am going to add three tasks for my project. This is my first task. Then the second. And the third task. You can see that project automatically populated a few columns for us when I was typing in the task names. They are duration, start date, and finish date. The start date is defaulted to the project start date that I had set up in the project information dialog box just a bit ago. Also, you can notice the duration has defaulted to one day with a question mark. This question mark is just project's way of indicating that it doesn't know what the duration for the project is and it has made its best guess. If you look at the right hand window pane, you will also notice that three small blue boxes have appeared on the Gantt chart and they coincide vertically with the task names. They are the visual representations of the three new tasks we have created. They will always continue to coincide vertically, but they might move horizontally depending on the number of tasks or your screen space. Now, while we will stop here in this lesson, uh, if you want, you can go ahead and download the exercise file and play around with setting the duration and dependencies. So, as a recap, in this lesson, we have seen how new tasks can be added. The tasks at the very minimum will be associated with the duration, time, start, and finish dates if they are to be automatically scheduled. We have also seen how project creates a Gantt chart for you automatically. In the next few lessons, we will explore tasks in more detail.